Hi everybody, Dave Weiss here again with the Glue Bomb Show. Well, today I have for you an Ollie's find. Now this is one that I've had for a little while. But if you see the magic orange tag there, I don't know if I can get this in close enough that you can see it, but $19.99 at Ollie's. Again, this was a couple years ago. The bigger kits are now going closer to 50 bucks there. But even so, I saw this one on eBay for over 100 so $19.99 was not a bad deal. So today I'm going to unbox it for us. We're going to have a look at this. This is a 1 uh, 12th scale dragster. So this is going to be a fairly large kit when it's done. I also have a 1 8th scale street rod from the folks at Lindbergh. And uh, that one has been in the process for quite some time. Frankly, because I'm still not understanding exactly how they want me to uh, wire the engine. There's something that isn't making sense. It almost seems like there are holes that are missing in that one. So I kind of, sometimes I'll back burner a kit if I don't exactly know what to do or if it seems like it's going to be really difficult or I'm going to mess it up. And you know why I do that? Because model building is supposed to be fun. And life is too short for aggravating kits. I will go back to it. I will build it. It's really cool, but it needs a little bit of time. Um, so this one. Again, 1 12th scale dragster. Oh, my word. First problem. They cast the body in black. My hope for this, if you look at the, the lid of the box again, you will see that they have this really cool kind of faded ombre pattern going from yellow to black. Now, if I was making this and wanted to go from yellow to black, I would make the body yellow. Because, and I know this is advanced color theory here, but yellow, black will cover over yellow much easier than yellow will cover over black. Fortunately, I wasn't planning on painting it the way this body is. This is not a replica of a real car and usually when it's a replica of a real car I'll make it like the real car in this particular case I since it's not a real car my hope was to paint this that really cool fluorescent green that Chrysler cars or some Chrysler cars are coming in uh, I probably won't be able to do that now so we're going to try and figure it out but another thing I, I gotta say I really hate when the body comes in two pieces like this um it's just aggravating because these pieces almost never line up 100% perfect, which means I end up putty and cracks, and uh, I don't really like to do that. Um, evidently, they're going to want me to build these as white walls because we have these little white wall tires here as well. Um, and we have some nice, big, uh, large tires. They're not real fat, but they are large tires. If I had a little more money and technology, I would probably trick those out. I'd switch those out for a nice big fat pair of slicks tubbed out under here. But I really don't have that technology at this point. And then other than the body, which again is in two parts, we just have this small um, collection of interior parts here mainly. Um, it looks like we have our, our basic floor. Um, very simple floor pan kind of thing. Uh, this looks like this is probably an interior body panel, if I had to guess. Uh, maybe some fuel tank things, I'm guessing. I probably should have gotten the directions out first on this one. Here we have a firewall. We have the grill. Um, spare tire cover, I'm guessing. It has the obligatory drag chute. And uh, it's a very simple dashboard. And a couple other interior parts here as well. And then this is the other part that could give me fits until this is over. If you look at this, this is all the different chrome pieces. Now, I will say my other, my other Lindbergh big kit uh, is also 
also has this articulated front steering so that, that you actually can make the wheels turn as you want. Uh, you see here we've got part of the scoop and we've got uh, looks like a fuel tank, uh, chrome steering wheel, chrome headers. And then, and this is the part that could be interesting, there's a chrome frame. Yes, folks, this whole frame is chrome. You know how well chrome sticks together, right? I have a feeling this might go into one of those areas where model building is not fun. But I'm going to try to keep it fun anyway. We will uh, use a lot of sandpaper on this one. We'll use some uh, E6000 glue. E6000 glue seems to play well with chrome parts, and I've been able to get some be successful somewhat successful anyway with that um i'm also surprised because unless i'm really missing something there are no chrome i mean no yeah no chrome parts there are no decals in here that i'm seeing unless they're under this body panel there are no decals oh yes there they are there's the decals okay oh and there's another chrome another sleeve of chrome parts under here here's my windshield and uh some ribbon and some springs and screws. I'm wondering if that ribbon is going to end up being my fan belt. Uh, I'll let you know how that works. And then the decal sheet is pretty much the, uh, the flames. And it's just the flames to go from the yellow to the black, which again, I don't think is going to work. Um, Looks like maybe some tabs for the uh, parachute and, of course, some gauges. A very simple decal sheet, not a whole lot to it. And I happen to notice that underneath the body uh, came another thing of another couple of trees of black parts as well. Um, oh, yeah. So, my friends at Lindbergh. I highly doubt that I have the audience that this will get through to you. However, if it does, can I ask you to do me a favor? If you're going to put a really cool two-tone paint job on a car, actually three-tone paint job, please do not give me black parts. Black parts are really hard to get paint on. Oh, yeah, I guess this part was kind of important because, folks, here's the engine block and uh, the bell housing. and uh, looks like maybe part of the rear axle and then more engine parts here. So uh, I'm looking forward to building this one. I know I've been whining a little bit, but I am looking forward to building this one because it has the potential to be a really cool car. The other thing is, and maybe I don't want to say this because I don't know for sure that I'm going to have time to do it, but you look at this car, it has a rather large hole in the roof. Now, if you know anything about my art style, you know what that means. It means if I can figure out how to do it, there should really be a creature sticking up through that hole holding on to a massively large gear shift. That's a goal. I don't know if we'll get there. First of all, I'm going to have to get the kit to build, right? I'm going to have to make it that I can actually build it, that all those chrome parts stay together and all that. So this is going to be an interesting adventure. This one's going to be a while before you see a review. I'm just going to warn you of that now. These ones that are long builds tend to take a long time to get built. And of course, I'm trying to keep up a weekly show. So chances are this one will stall a couple times. But I'm looking forward to seeing what I can do with it. Uh, the instruction sheet. Uh, it looks pretty detailed. Now, I lately, I have to admit... I've had some frustrations with instruction sheets because they kind of give a diagram, but you're not quite sure what to do with some of the parts. This one, though, I have to admit, this looks pretty nicely put together. As you notice, there are a lot of steps. There are 43 different steps to be specific. Actually, I'm sorry, there are 53. So some of them are the decals which again, I don't think I'm going to be putting on this one. I do think I would really love to prime this one and make it that Chrysler green, but I'm not sure. Um, 
So we'll, we'll keep track of that. Because the other thing is, if I decide to make a rat fink figure to put in it, I don't want it to be green because rat fink's green. So let's see where it goes. I'll give you some updates along the way. Of course, I promised that with the funny car, and the funny car's been sitting. So we're going to get to some of these anyway. All right? Guys, take care. This is longer than usual. So I'm going to sign off right here by reminding you model building is supposed to be fun. So have fun. Take care. God bless. Have a great time.